information process analyzing. So as I've just stated, this video is going to be about analyzing. So let's define analyzing and analyzing is the manipulation or analyzing of data within an information system, reinterpreting it to give it more meaning. So when we say we're turning data and giving it more meaning, essentially we're creating information now. And that's what the information system's all about, creating information. So essentially this is the actual information process that turns data into information. So just as backtrack just a little bit, we've had collecting occur first, where we enter data into the system. We've had organizing occur where data has been entered into the system and has now been arranged in a specific format and now we are analyzing so we're turning that data that's in the system into information so what are some methods of analyzing well firstly we've got formatting so when we put a text into a microsoft word document or any type of word processor okay we could type it up and the text appears on screen that's organizing but analyzing then is when we actually space the text out into paragraphs we apply fonts we apply colors okay we double the line spacing we put in bullet points okay that is making the data more meaningful and hence why it is analyzing we can arrange data in spreadsheet and databases through a specific sort, which may be alphabetical. It may be by primary keys or numbers, okay, that put them in a specific order. And by putting things in order, we are analyzing it because it's arranged and then once again has more meaning. We can conduct searches. Okay, if we use a web browser and we want to look up certain web pages, we type text into the text box in Google, we press enter, and then it will find web pages that match the keywords we've entered okay, through analyzing all the web pages on the internet. We can use charts and graphs within spreadsheet software to turn values that we might have created using formulas, which is one level of analyzing, and then turn those actual solutions from the formulas into charts, which are an illustrated representation of that value, which is analyzing. Okay, we have modeling and simulation, which allows us to actually put numbers in, okay, and then see what outcomes we may get. And once again, this could be with a chart, once again, and actually trying to see if we change certain values, well, how will that affect our actual outcome or our budget or product or whatever our actual spreadsheet's all about. And that same method then is used for predicting, okay, where we can actually try to predict then what future sales or future costs, okay, we may have based on our current values and try to, uh, you know, guess the future. Um, I've said it before in previous videos, some of the biggest systems in the world, the biggest supercomputers are weather prediction systems, okay, and that's all about entering in historic data and current data in hopes of predicting the future, okay, so it's a big thing for information systems and a lot of money goes into creating those supercomputers. So let's have a look at the information technology that is involved in analyzing. So once again, the information technology here, it's gonna be a lot of software that we mention, okay? And look, we'll look at three different categories to stick with, okay? And once again, it's very closely linked to organizing because it's what the software we actually put the data in is then the tools of that same software is what we use to analyze the data. So firstly, we'll talk about word processing. And as I mentioned, when we format that text that we've entered into a word processor, that is analyzing because it's improved readability and making it more meaningful, more appealing to whoever the reader is going to be of that actual word process document. Databases. Okay, as said, databases store thousands of records within them, all arranged, okay, text-based uh, data that has been entered into the records, as well as uh, your other data types uh, like Boolean and number and all that, okay, that gets entered into an actual record. Okay, we can then search through those thousands of records or rearrange them alphabetically to make those records more readable. Okay, we can also run queries within the database which will retrieve records of a specific criteria. Okay, based on certain dates, based on numerical values, based on certain Boolean criteria being true. Okay, so databases have many tools within them for analyzing data. And then finally, we'll just talk about spreadsheets, okay, in that they can do calculating, simulating, predicting, and charts of graphs, just as I said before, how we can enter in values, we can turn those values into charts, we can then change those values, and the chart will change in accordance with that, and then we can hopefully then predict certain values in the future based on the data we've entered, okay? And it's a very deep process, but that's one of the most powerful things about information systems. And in that case, we're using a lot of text and number uh, there to do this. We will talk about hardware too for analyzing, but only really two components. And this does link to the information process of processing as well. Okay, the first one is, in order to do analyzing, you need good primary and secondary storage. 
as mentioned before with the supercomputers for weather prediction, okay, they are large computers because you need a lot of RAM to process, okay, and store all these actual uh, values live as they're entered into the system, okay? It's taking in a lot of data at once. So RAM is your primary storage, which you need to have a lot of, which focuses on the live data. But you also need a lot of secondary storage, your hard disk drives, your solid state drives, to save this data too, okay? Large systems record a lot of data, usually stored in their databases, okay? So you need that secondary storage, large capacity of primary and secondary storage. And you might have heard me just mention there as well, the other thing you need in conjunction with this is your processors. You need fast processors. No one wants to sit on a laggy system, okay, that takes forever to do its analysis, okay? So you need a powerful CPU with multiple cores. Okay, it's not just like your desktop computer. We're talking information systems here that are able to return the analyzed data, return the information back to the user in an acceptable amount of time. So I hope this video has helped you understand the information process of analyzing. Essentially, where we are making data more meaningful and actually turning it into information, which is what the information system is all about, giving the information back to that user.